Tonight, this is crossover day. The Georgia Senate passed a religious freedom bill, which critics say will create freedom to discriminate. Backers say it merely strengthens the right of people of faith. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is live tonight from the Capitol with more on that, Doug. Yes, you know, religious freedom is a pretty controversial concept that Republicans here at the state capitol have actually been chasing for much of the last decade. Tonight, it passed the Senate, giving them hope that it could become law this year. It is common sense. Republican Ed Setzler's bill is one of the reasons that supporters of the LGBTQ community filled the halls of the Capitol this week, trying to stop legislation they say harms their community. Setzler contends his religious freedom bill doesn't. And what we bring before you today is something that deeply matters. For deeply held religious beliefs, not invidious discrimination. This doesn't just affect my family. It doesn't just affect LGBTQ families. Democrat Kim Jackson says the bill could impact her wife and family by giving license to the devoutly religious to discriminate against them. Legislation like this is an invitation. It's an invitation for Georgians to consider how they want to discriminate. It's a permission slip. The question is on the passage of the bill. Republicans lifted the bill to passage on a party line vote. I think people being able to live out their faith uh, as protecting the First Amendment uh, enshrined here in Georgia is a positive development. But opponents are hopeful this year's version goes the way of previous ones. Each and every time it ultimately has been rejected as too divisive and wrong for Georgia. I hope that we will have the same result this year. Governor Nathan Deal in 2017 vetoed a religious freedom bill. It was a lot wordier than the bill that passed tonight. Uh, Republicans here are hopeful that it will get to the desk of Governor Brian Kemp, but it would have to go through the House first. We are live at the Capitol tonight. Back to you. Doug Richards up late with us tonight. Thank you, sir. We have a lot more on the significance of Crossover Day over on 11alive.com. You can check it out right now on our homepage. Coming up.